Good morning. Good morning. It's a good morning song. Good morning. Good, good morning. morning. It's great. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Okay. Is the echo gone now? 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 Okay. this now it's uh maybe sign off and get back on yeah but then it closes this whole stream well. okay it's good now but but now something is is stuck on my phone oh what is happening no. Why can't I ever just get this right? I know it looks good on your end, but there's something stuck on my screen that says my the orientation is locked. So I can't really see that anything on my screen besides. Why don't you actually lock your phone really quick and then unlock it with the screen? Like, like this? Like what if it? Okay, if this, if I lose you guys, sorry. <laughs> nope, didn't work. <laughs> you guys, I think I'm gonna have to close this and make a new, um, a new live really quick. So, sorry. I'm gonna close this one. Um, wait, slide control center down. I I really think something is just frozen. Like it's not. It's not locked in my control center. This is just, fine. I know. I mean, I could just leave it, I guess. And just not really see myself. That's not a big deal. See that right there, it's just delayed. Yeah. Okay, I'm just gonna leave it. It's not that big of a deal. I just can't really see my screen, but. Yeah. Are you gonna end it though? Um, like it's giving me all these other options. Okay, that works. Looks like everything's working. Yeah, everything's working except for this. Do you have you pressed this yet? Yeah, it just flips the screen. Yeah, I know, but I can. Um, I actually do have to close this. Oh, it just went away. Okay, My so God, what, why is this? What am I doing? Um, you go to no copyright music. I didn't see that. This is the explore page, and then that's the see Now I'm 30. Sorry. <laughs> um, no copyright sounds. We're going to try to play music. It's called No Copyright Sounds. This is like, it's like literally a, like yeah. a link on YouTube. It's a page on YouTube. Somebody told us to uh, try this No Copyright Sounds page that apparently um, we can. Like that's what I should put in the search engine? Yes. Apparently we can play some music. We won't play it that loud still because you, I don't think the music is that like 
exciting, but I mean, at least it's some background music, but we'll play it low so you guys can still play your own music. Like, look at these options. Yeah, um, maybe just pick. I saw one this morning that was like. If we're just gonna have to do it low and they just play their own music. Yeah, just pick point. one. Or would you rather not have sound? I mean, if it's literally just for us, like. Yeah. All right, well, maybe we won't then. Okay, either way, let's get started. This has been a good start. This is how everyone starts. How this I just is like maybe the roughest I feel no, like so far. It's been I've had to close out lives before because it hasn't worked. Oh, we spent so much time doing this that someone fell asleep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. Okay, you guys ready? We're starting a couple minutes late. Oh my god. Oh. Oh, oh good. Oh, this is just. Oh man. I hope all the new viewers are appreciating. Something just broke on my phone, but whatever. What was that? It wouldn't be one of my lies if we did mess up something, so. Okay. We're gonna start our warm up finally. Jay, you're gonna have to move, buddy. What's the frame? What's the edge of frame? Warm up. Alright. Today's Three, booty day. Two. One. Let's warm it up. Exercise one. Let's get your neck going with the nose. So today's workout, you can add um, a band around your knees, switch to yes, or weights, and I'll tell you when you can do that, or you can use nothing. I'm not going to use anything. Armpit. Nose to armpit. That's halfway. Just staring at me. <laughs> what? Big arm movements forward. Whose arms are sore? My upper back is sore for Monday's workout. Switch to backwards. Three, two, one, rest. All right, squat Three, with overhead reach. Two, one, exercise two. Here it goes. Deep squat, overhead reach. Nice, deep, stretch out those inside of your legs, your groin, your adductors. Jet's still laying on the ground. I don't think you guys can see him, but. I know a lot of people had questions about wrist issues or pain after the last exercise. I mean, the last workout Three. we two, one, rest. We pretty much did everything in three, plank position, two, back one, lunge with the rotation. Exercise three. So back lunge, rotate towards that front leg and then switch. So I'm gonna film a video today or tomorrow on things you can do to take some of the pressure off your wrists in those exercises and then also ways to stretch out your wrists, slowly load them a lot of times the issue is just that your wrists aren't used to that much pressure consistently going through them. So sometimes you just need to slowly load them so they get used to it. I think we should turn the lights on in there. Uh -huh. Three, two, one. One, rest. All right, lateral lunge with the Three, overhead reach. Wide two, squat, and you wide stance. Exercise four. Lateral lunge, overhead reach.
sure you don't want any music? I mean, I feel like if they're still listening to their own music now, not ours, that's just going to model everything up. Make it more annoying for them. I'm kind of like used to this now, even though it kind of sucks. Well, then. Good job, guys. <clears throat> Three, two, one, rest. All right, walkouts. Three, two, one, exercise five. Here we go. Ooh, walk it out, walk it back up. Nice stretch of those hammies. Ooh. Three, two, one. Your timer is complete. All right. Okay, so I'm gonna quickly go through the first set of 10, I mean, first set of five exercises. First one is a sumo squat with a heel raise. So sumo squat, wide leg. So again, before we start, if you guys wanna add a band, or, um, or weights to any of these. You can pretty much have the band on for all these first round exercises, and then you can hang on to weights if you want to as well. Okay, so sumo squat heel raise is the first one. So sumo squat is a little bit wider of a stance. Toes are turned out a little bit, and your knees are gonna go to where your toes are pointing to, okay? So sumo squat is we're coming down. Straight down a little bit more, not so much, but back straight down. When we're in this down position, we're gonna do a heel raise. When we stand back up, we're gonna do a heel raise. Down, heel raise, up, heel raise, okay? Make sure when you're down, your knees are pushing out. They're not caving in at all. Exercise two is our single leg RDL. We're gonna stay on one leg first. Everything stay nice and tight. Show you my core. You're staying solid through your core, and then you're just reaching forward and coming back. Everything's staying straight the whole time. You're not reaching down like this, okay? If you're adding weight, just hang on to the weights as you go down. Make sure your knee is pushing out. I'll remind you all these things as we go through. Lateral lunge, third one's lateral lunge, pulse with a pause. So. We'll go on one leg first. One, two, three pulses. We'll come up and pause. One, two, three, up and pause. As you're going down, we're sitting back into our hip for that one, two, three. Chest is still up and then pushing up to a pause. Fourth exercise is our four way tap lunge. So we're going to stay on one leg the whole time. And then we'll switch. So we're going to tap four different directions. We're tapping forward, tap, side, tap, back, tap, curtsy, tap. You don't have to go as low into this one if you don't want to. I want you to be really controlled. The leg that you're on is staying nice and straight. It's not wobbly. It's not moving around. You're only going as low as that leg stays nice and straight. So you're kind of in control of what that depth is. Fifth exercise is going to be, I'm giving you the option to do a single leg or double leg squat heel raise. So you can hang on to the wall with this if you're doing the single leg. They'll either look like squat, heel raise, stand, heel raise, squat, heel raise, stand, heel raise. Or if you want to challenge yourself and do a single leg, if you have control, you can do squat, single leg squat, heel raise, stand, heel raise squat, heel raise, or you can do double leg squat, single leg heel raise, okay? So I'll let you guys be the judge of what your body can handle, okay? Whew. 
you can't breathe. It's a bad sign I'm already out of breath with just the explanation, man. All right, let me get my timer. You guys ready to go? Like, yes, we're ready. We're waiting Exercise on me. one. Waiting on me. Okay. 45 on, 15 off. It's fine, I'll take my slippers off. <clears throat> okay. Girl. <laughs> Sorry. You guys ready? Warm up. <clears throat> Here we go. So sumo squat to heel raise is the first one. <clears throat> Wide legs, toes pointed out a little bit. Three, two, one. Exercise one. Here we go. So we're squatting, heel raise. Stand, heel raise. Everything stay nice and tight. Remember, our knees are pushing out, so don't let your knees cave in as you do this. Really fight to push them out. That's halfway. And your sumo squat position is based on you, so don't think that because I'm turning out this much or I'm this wide, that's how you have to be. I'm going based on my range of motion, so you just go based on what your Three, body allows you two. to do. One, rest. Good job. As you keep doing this, you'll find you'll be able to get more into that range. Man, I gotta get my lungs Three, going today. Two, one. Here we go. Exercise Same one. Thing. Squat, heel raise. Stand, heel raise. Core is nice and tight. We're going straight down. I've heard we had a lot of sore calves after, for, was it Friday's workout? What's today, Tuesday? Today's Wednesday. Wednesday, I mean. No, oh, yeah. That's how yeah. I After Friday's workout, we had a lot of sore calves just from that one calf exercise. Mine was sore for like, what, four days, three We're days? We're gonna have to do that one again on Friday. That's okay. How else are you gonna get stronger with that one? Um, willpower, <laughs> prayer. Three. Two, one, rest. Ooh. Okay, single leg RDL. So pick the leg you're starting on. I'm starting on my right. Remember, really strong standing leg. We're reaching forward or Three, reaching down. Two, one, exercise Let's two. Start. Whatever you have to do to maintain this, ooh, maintain this nice, solid position through your core and back. Remember, you can reach, if you feel like this hip is coming up, then reach with your opposite hand. So if you reach down with your left leg, you'll keep that hip a little bit more closed That's halfway. as you come down. Go nice and slow, controlled. Try to keep that knee straight. Try not to let it come in. You should really feel this in your hamstring, mostly your glute. Three, two, one, rest. Nice job. Gucci? No, you, you, nice job. Oh, did nice job, me. Yeah, wow, thank you. I see that. Thank you. Three, two. Here we go, one. other side. Exercise two. Nice and controlled. Hinging right around that hip. If you have tight hamstrings, this is a good way to get those to lengthen. Really lengthen out those hamstrings. That's halfway. Ooh, I keep kicking things. Your legs are so long. I know, I have really long legs, if you guys haven't noticed. It's crazy. <laughs> Three, two. One, rest. Nice job. Thanks. Lateral lunge, pulse with a pause. So I'm going to my right side first. One, two, three, pause, control, tight, <laughs> tighten that core. Three, into the wall. two, one, exercise three. Here we go. One, two, three, pause. One, two, three, pause. If you're holding weights, 
One, two, three, pause. You can still do this with a band, depending on how much your band lets you split your legs apart. It's a crazy band. Some of the lighter bands. That's halfway. You do that. So remember, as you're lunging to the side, you're going hips back, chest up as you do this. People tend to do kind of more of the flattened chest to try to make up for some of that, to try to get lower, but not lower with your leg, but you can just get Three, lower with your chest. Two, one. So you're kind rest. of cheating a little bit. You feel like you're going deeper, but really your chest is just getting closer to the ground. Left side. Three, two, one. Exercise three. Go. One, two, three. Pulse. I mean, pause. As you're pulsing, too, think about what you're turning on. My butt. That's right. A plus your butt. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Pause. Your weight should be shifted back a little That's bit. That's way. One. Push that knee out. One. Two, three. Try to get deeper if you can. Deeper with your hip, not with your chest. Three, two, one, rest. All right, four away, lunge tap. So let's start on our left legs this time. We're gonna tap forward, side, back, curtsy. All stay on three, that left leg. Two. One, exercise four. Here we go. Tap forward, tap side, tap back, tap curtsy. You see how my ankle and shin is pretty much staying in the exact same spot the entire time. Your hip is moving a little bit, but really that's not moving that's a lot either. Way. This leg is staying really stable. You're sitting back. Even when you're going forward, you're pushing back, pushing back, pushing back. You're really gonna burn out that booty. Three, two, one, rest. Grant said he felt this in his quad more, which is okay, but that I'm just tells me. I'm doing it wrong. You're not even wrong. It just tells me that you're probably coming forward a little bit and favoring your quad versus. Three. Sitting Two, back on your heel. Or my one. Just so Exercise strong. four. If you are feeling this in your quad more, I challenge you to put more weight through your heel as you do this. So push through your heel a little bit more. And I promise you'll start to feel that a little bit more in your booty versus your quad. That's halfway. Mostly feel like quad. Yeah, because you're coming forward more. No. I can see hurt. it. <laughs> I can see Three, it. Three, two, one, rest. All right, last one is our single or double leg heel raise. We're doing squat heel raise, stand heel raise, or single leg squat heel raise, stand Three. heel raise. Two, I'm gonna try it one, single leg today. Exercise five. Squat, heel raise. My heel shaking, stand, heel raise. That's halfway. Good job, guys. Thank you. Hard to do that heel raise down on that squat on one leg. Mm -hmm. Hard to do it high. Or am I doing it wrong again? No. It's hard to do it not Three, hanging on anything. Two, one, rest. Well, Grant's just doing it like free balling. Free what? <laughs> That's the only term that came to mind. <laughs> Three, two, Left side. one. Exercise five. Here we go. Squat. Heel raise. Remember, if you don't, if you're going to try to do the single leg, do it 
do the double leg squat, and then when you come up, push up with one leg. So you can try to challenge yourself a little bit more. It is hard to stay on one leg the whole time. That's halfway. This leg is shaky. Three, two, one. Your timer is complete. Oh, nice job. Woo, thank you. Woo. Okay, we're coming down the ground. Coming down the ground. <laughs> for this next set. <laughs> for the second we we're down the ground. All right. Okay. First round done. Okay, second round, we're pretty much gonna be on our backs for the first two, up on our sides in kind of quadruped position, inside a plank for the last three, so. Okay, so the first one is a bridge. Get a drink of water while I explain. We're gonna do a bridge with a clam, so our feet are still a little bit apart. We're gonna do a bridge, and then we're, when we're up in this bridge, we're just going to do a little bit of a clam, putting our legs out in abduction. If you have a band and you want to add a band to all of these, this would be a good time as well. Um, it would definitely take these this next round to the next level if you have that. Okay, so first one's bridge clam. So bridge clam. Second one is a single leg bridge. So if we're on our right legs, I'm going to grab my left, bring it in all the way into my chest if I can. You can hang here if you want. You can hang a little bit lower. Bring it in so our backs are secure. And then from there, we're gonna lift our head up a tiny bit, and then we're gonna go up from there. So it's gonna be a small range, but it's gonna be a lot more effective to localize that glute. So single leg bridge looks like this. Okay, then we'll do the other side. Um, next one, we're gonna do, we're gonna stay on one leg for two rounds, and then we'll switch to the other side. So we're gonna do a straight leg hydrant. So what that looks like is we're gonna be on our elbows and knees. Actually, we're gonna be up on our hands. And our leg is gonna be out to the side, not all the way. So not right next to you, a little bit back. So that you're at a little bit of a 45 degree angle. And from there, keeping your core nice and tight, we're just gonna lift. It's gonna be a small range of motion. We're just gonna lift that tiny range and do you see how while I'm lifting, my core is staying nice and tight. I'm not shifting my hips. I'm not moving my trunk at all. I'm just lifting. If you can only do a tiny little lift, that is fine. Even if you can't lift your leg off of the ground, but you're trying to, that is also fine. You're still turning on those muscles, even if you can't lift your leg, okay? If you find that you would rather, if you're trying to lift and you can't, and you really want to get your knee off the ground, just bend your leg and do that same motion, just like we're doing a regular hydrant. But if you feel like this is easy, I want you guys to try to do it with a straight leg. So straight leg hydrant, and then we're going to stay on that side and go right into a donkey kick. So we're doing straight leg hydrant for the second round. We'll drop that elbow, and then we'll do knee to elbow, and then kick out nice and strong to that donkey kick. Core stays nice and tight. As you extend, you're really squeezing that butt. As you come in, you're kind of staying parallel to the ground. You're not letting that knee drop, okay? My booty's tired already. <laughs> and then the last one, so then we'll do that same two on the other side. The last one is the side plank abduction clam. So the difference this time, so we're in our side plank position from our knees. We're gonna come down. Up. When we come up, we're going to lift the whole leg this time versus keeping our feet together. So we'll come up, lift the whole leg with a bent knee, and come down, up, whole leg with a bent knee. Remember when we do this, we don't want, when we're up in this position, we don't want our backs to extend. So our core still stays nice and tight as we come up in that kind of clamshell position. Okay. All right, here we go. You guys ready? Mm -hmm. Get your bands on if you are doing it with a band. 
Okay. Warm up. Here we go. So bridge with the clam. So feet are a little bit apart, about shoulder width or hip width apart. We're doing a bridge Three, and then two, pushing your knees out. One. Exercise one. Here we go. Bridge, push your knees out, squeeze that outside booty and come back down. Bridge, out, squeeze that outside booty and come down. Remember when you're doing a bridge, core is still staying really tight. Belly button to spine, so we're pressing down first into the ground and then lifting and then coming back That's down. That's halfway. So that we know that this motion is coming from our booties and hamstrings and not from our back. If you're going really high, do you see how this is my back? This is now my booty. Three, two, one, rest. Good job. Thank you. Booty, 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 booty rocking everywhere. Three, Here we go. two, Same exercise. one, exercise one. Bridge, push it out and back down. If you're having trouble keeping that core engaged, give a light touch to your belly. Just to remind your belly that it needs to be on right now. Ribs are down, tucked in. You're still breathing. That's halfway. Good job, guys. Thanks. Welcome. Three, two, one, rest. All right, so now we're gonna do the single leg bridge. So we're gonna grab our left knee into our chest first. So left knee, pull it into your chest. You're gonna lift Three, your head up a little bit. Two, one, exercise two. And then we're gonna push up from there. Push up, squeeze that booty at the top and come back down. So this grabbing your knee, lifting your head up, locks out your upper body so that the motion is just coming from that hip, that glute, that hamstring. That's halfway. Hey, Jet. Jet. If your neck is getting tired, you can also yeah. put your other hand there for support. Or it's okay to have your head down. Just make sure you're really pulling that knee into your chest. Looks like you're doing the funky chicken if you put your hand behind your neck. The funky chicken? Three, I don't know two, is. one, rest. Grandson looks like we're doing the funky chicken, but I don't know what that is. Oh, gotcha. Do you want to show no. everybody what you're doing? Three, two, <laughs> one, like, exercise two. Here we go. Squeeze. They can Google it. He said you can Google the funky chicken. I think they can hear me. It's like faint. I don't think. think so. Can you guys hear him clearly? Can you see the comments? No. <laughs> Keep going. Um, That's halfway. I don't know what they're saying. I'm ready for another cup of coffee. Yeah. Three, two, one, rest. Good job. Thank you. Okay, side plank with the clamshell abduction. So we're gonna come up and out all the way up this three, time and back down. Two, so let's start on one, your left side. Exercise three. So we're coming up, really bringing that leg up and coming back down. Core is staying nice and tight. Ribs are staying tucked in. Belly button to spine. Both your top and bottom leg are getting work here. This booty is getting some work too. Don't forget our nice That's shoulder halfway. positions. Knees. Grandma knees over here. Three. 
Three, two, one, rest. Stop. Okay, other side. <coughs> if you added a band or weights three, to this, these exercises. Two, one, exercise three. I know your booty's burning right now. Check in with your core. See what it's doing. That's halfway. Flexing. Flexing on them. Popping, popping. Good job, guys. Thank you. I don't know what else to say besides good job, guys. It just Three, seems the most natural. Two, one. Way to go. Rest. <laughs> Way to go. Way that to go, everybody. Nice, nice, nice. Wait. You skipped something? Wait. Pause. We skipped two major workouts. Two? Yeah. Ugh. Okay, so now we're going to do... I don't circle back. <laughs> no, I don't go backwards. In we're the going straight. back. We missed two of the big ones. We just went out of order. You keep going. Okay, so straight leg. It's so we'll start on our right twice. side. Oh we're doing our straight leg hydrant on the right Three, side. Remember, at 45 two, degree angle. One. Exercise four. Here we go. We're lifting and tapping. I don't remember this anyway. So remember this. Everything else stays nice and tight. I have all my exercises on a whiteboard over here. It's really far away and hard to read. No, it's not hard to read, but I'm always just talking too much. That's halfway. So I get distracted. Remember, your leg only goes as high as you can keep everything else stable. If you're just getting this high, totally fine. If you're not lifting your leg but you're trying to, also fine. Or you can bend your knee. Three, and do two, it. one, rest. With a bent knee. We're staying on our right side now, coming down on our elbow. We're going to be doing the donkey kick and kicking it out straight. Not the other side. Nope, we're staying Three, on our right side. two, one. Exercise four. Here we go. Knee to elbow. Push that leg out. Get a nice squeeze of that glute. Knee to elbow. Nice squeeze. Remember your knee is trying to stay at hip level the whole time. Okay? So try not to let that leg drop if you can help it. That's halfway. Squeeze at the top. Squeeze. Your core is nice and tight. Your booty should be burning. Three, two, one, rest. Good job. Other side. Same thing, so we're gonna start with the straight leg, hydrant, and then go right into the donkey kick. Three, two, one. Exercise five. Here we go. Lift. They can see your toes. Well, let me <laughs> can they still see my toes? No. Good. Just Off giving them a toes. little taste. Off camera. A little tease of the toes. <laughs> <laughs> they can still see it? That's halfway. <laughs> trolling my toes. I'm not trolling your toes. <laughs> Three, two, one, rest. Good job. So right. drop that right elbow. We're going to our donkey kick. Knee to elbow. Kick it out. Nice squeeze that booty at the top. Three, two, one, exercise five. Here we go. Knee to elbow. And squeeze. Keeping that leg nice and parallel. Keeping that knee high. As you come in, to get that knee to stay parallel, 
you have to externally rotate a little bit. So that's halfway. Instead of dropping in like this, you got to turn that hip out a little bit. Turn on those external rotators of your hip to keep that leg nice and parallel. So if you're having trouble and your knee's dropping, try to think of that a little bit. Point that knee up and then kick out. Three, two, one. Your hey, timer booty. is complete. That's right, booty. <laughs> That's right, booty. Okay. Oh, that was loud. <laughs> Sorry, Dan. Bye, okay, let's come back to standing. Uh, See if I can do this without dropping the phone this time. Not. Probably not. You're correct. Okay, we're back to some jumping for this last round. Again, for all those people who hate jumping, I always give you the option of not jumping. So, don't want to hear it. Okay. The first exercise is going to be single leg and double leg landing prep. So this is actually a prep exercise to correct landing form, but we're gonna do it for the first round just so we're priming those muscles, we're getting our brain going with how we're supposed to land properly, okay? So what you're gonna do, we're gonna do double leg first for the first round. So we'll be up on our toes and arms above our heads. That's kind of the start position. And then you do a quick land so we're up and we're landing we're shooting our butt back we're landing kind of with our core coming straight down and then we'll go back to the start position and land we're driving our hands back this is really controlled again this is helping with some landing really being able to absorb that landing motion okay so the second round of that one is going to be landing with the single leg so we'll still be up on our toes and our hands, but when we come down, we're gonna land. This is gonna be a lot more wobbly, but that's okay. You're there to try to control the wobble. That's the goal. So as you come up, we're coming down to one, and then we're gonna to try to control that before we go back up again. Then we'll go to the other side. Control, come back up, control. Ooh. Again, that's okay to wobble. You're just trying to control that knee wobble, that trunk wobble. You're trying to be nice and solid, okay? So that's the first round. The second round is a broad jump. I know people don't want to wake up their neighbors, but when you land, you want to try to land softly regardless. So you still can do this exercise, you just try to land softly so that you know your joints are absorbing that force as you land. So broad jump is gonna look like this. Jump off of two legs, land softly, and then we're gonna jog a little bit back. Broad jump, land, jog a little bit back. When you take off and land, try not to knock your knees as you do it, so the knees still stay nice and pressed out. We're turning out the outside booty. When you land, same thing, try not to let those knees fall in, okay? Third exercise is a squat jump with a twist. We're gonna get our abs involved in this one. So squat, twist. So the twist is just a trunk twist. Squat, twist, squat, okay? If you can do this without pausing, <laughs> that's perfect. You're cute, Ricky. Alice just texted me and said, can we see the dogs at the end? Mo's doing the workout, we're eating cereal on the couch. Mo's <laughs> <laughs> are cute. just here for the dogs. <laughs> She's cute though. Okay, Look at the, camera. the fourth one is a back lunge pulse with a high kick, so high skip. Back lunge pulse, we're gonna go. This is just gonna help us with the control as we come back into our back lunge. So we're gonna go one, two, three, before we do our high skip. And we did that landing prep the first round, so when you land, I want you guys to land really solid with control, okay? So one, two, three, jump. Nice control as we come back. One, two, three, jump, okay? Last one is a slow burpee, nice and controlled. No jumping. We're coming into our deep squat, back into our plank, step, step. And then we're just gonna hold and come back up. Okay, step, step. Okay? No. <clears throat> See, I'm not even making you jump the last round. Uh. You guys ready? We're working on a lot of control with our jumps because I know I jump a lot, so I really want to 
make sure you guys are doing these correctly and we're training the right way, okay? I'm gonna eat cereal on the couch next time. <laughs> no. Yeah. All right, last round, 10 minutes. We got this. Warm up. <clears throat> okay, so we're doing our double leg land first. So we're up and we're landing, nice and strong at the bottom. Up on our toes and we're landing, okay? Three, <clears throat> two, <clears throat> one. Exercise one. Here we go. We're up on our toes, nice and strong. Okay, up and we're landing. Our knees are staying nice and straight. We're solid, <clears throat> we're quiet as we land. That's halfway. Our core is staying nice and engaged the whole time. Our ribs are staying tucked in. Remember, this is working on form. It's working on Three, control. Two, one, rest. Nice job. Now we'll switch to that single leg. Oh. This one's gonna be a lot more wobbly. You didn't follow directions. Well, now I'll do double legs this time. <laughs> Three, two, one. I thought you were doing Exercise one. Okay, so we're up and then we're landing. Control that wobble. Up. Switch sides, control that wobble. There you go, stick it. What's that movie? Stick it? It's just called stick it. <laughs> well, we're sticking it. We're sticking the landing. That's okay. halfway. See? I'm gonna be Jeff that Bridges and just watch. I don't know what that is. Jeff Bridges and just watch. I don't know what that is. Jeff Bridges, the actor. Yeah. He's in that movie and he's the coach. He just watches. Oh. It wasn't confusing. <laughs> Three. I don't know if it's in that movie. One. Rest. I had no idea. Okay. Broad jump. So remember, we're doing quiet landings, solid landings. You don't have to jump really far. Three, two, one. Exercise two. Here we go. Land, quiet, jog, back. Our knees are staying nice and solid. We're pushing them out on our takeoff. We're pushing out on our land. Our butts are going back as we jump. That's halfway. We're going back as we land. Arm swing. Your arms are really gonna help you with your momentum for this. If you're making a big thud as you land, you know you're not absorbing that. Three, force. two, one, rest. Nice job. Thanks. All you guys with tight ankles who are taking off like this. Oh no. Turn those feet in a little bit. Three. Push those knees two, out a little bit. One. Exercise two. I can picture exactly how you're taking off right now. Ew. So check in, look down, push out. Doing this with a band is really helpful because it automatically way. makes you push your knees out. <clears throat> Three, two, one, rest. Nice job. Thank you. All right, squat, jump, twist. So we're getting our core involved. For a squat, twist, twist. Your upper body stays three, facing forward the whole two, time. One, exercise three. You can just do the squat if you want to. For any of these exercises that you want to take the jump out, just do the squat part of it. That's halfway. Good job, guys. Thank you.
three, two, one, rest. Nice job. Thanks. How you guys doing? Fine. Grab a drink of water if you need to. Three, I got mine. two, one, exercise three. Stairs. There you go. There's some right here. That's yours. Gross. Try to get that nice trunk twist with that shoulders and your chest still staying forward. That's halfway. Good job. Thank you. Drive that hip around as you jump. Three, two, one, rest. Nice job. Thanks. Back lunge, pulse with the high skip. We'll start on our right side. So we're doing one, two, three. Jump. Three. Nice two, solid landing. One. Exercise four. Here we go. One, two, three. Jump. Opposite arm, opposite leg, just like you're running. Just take out the jump. So you can go one, two, three. Or one, two, three. Come up on your toes still, but not jump. So you can challenge that balance and control a little bit more. That's halfway. Exercise four. One, two, three, drive. Control. One, two, three, drive. Control. Remember, if you're super wobbly, check in with your core. Your core is your base. If this isn't stable, nothing's going to be stable. That's halfway. Drive through that heel. Push off with your toe. Three, two, one, rest. All right, last one. Slow burpee and we're done. Ooh. Three. <sighs> Two, I'm late. one, Hi, Ricky. exercise five. Here we go. Step, step. You can stay down here or you can come up. I don't care. I think I'm actually gonna stay down in this position. Hi, 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 hi. Change what That's leg is way. going back. Hi, Ricky. He's bending. Keep going. Keep going. Here, you guys know it's like entertainment. Three, two, one. Rest. Say hi to the people. Hi. 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 Last round, you guys. What? Ricky's here to pump you up. Three. Go, Ricky. Two. Go, Ricky. One. Exercise five. Here we go. Step, step. You can add the jump if you want, as long as you're controlled. I only do burpees if we're controlled through the movement. That's halfway. Good job, guys. Almost nice. done. Push through, push hard. Almost there. Squeeze that booty. Squeeze that booty. Three, two, one. Rest. 
Three, two, one. Your timer is complete. We did it. We made it. Walk it off, walk it off. Alice. It's dead. It's dead. Wow, dead. Dead. <laughs> Are you covering his stuff? I think so. Before I'm presenting it. <laughs> Where's Nora? Nora's not down here. She hides from us. I just spilled all my water. <laughs> See, that wasn't too bad of a booty day. <sighs> Didn't do too much jumping. I feel like these workouts are getting easier. Am I being too easy on you guys? No. <laughs> okay. You can always count on that last set to get you sweaty. Wow, Ricky, say hi. Say hi. Okay, okay. You guys ready to cool down? Technically, if you guys have been doing these with me for the last couple weeks, it should feel like it's getting easier because your body is getting more Stop. in shape. All right, pedal your feet out. Oh. Molly sees Ricky. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Molly, your best friend. <laughs> All right, pedal your feet out. Right hand up. I mean, your right foot up by your right hand. Come on up. Engage that core. Grab that back leg. Stretch out that quad. I'm going to go through this a tiny bit faster just because I don't want these to go <laughs> past an hour on my page. Since I messed up all the stuff at the beginning, we're getting a little late at the start. All right, drop your hand down, right hand to the sky. Come on down, left hand to the sky. Walk that right foot over, drop down, stretch out that booty. You gonna show them how to stretch? You're literally sitting right in front of me. Ricky, you can't sit there. Ricky. <laughs> yeah. All right, bring that leg back. Pedal it out. Left foot up by that left hand. Drop that back knee. <laughs> Why? <laughs> you can call your daughter. Ricky. Come on up. Look key. Grab that back leg, stretch out that quad, keep your core engaged. Yeah, Drop that hand down, left hand to the sky. Come on down, right hand to the sky. Here comes Nora. Here comes Nora. Nora! Anti-social one. Come on down, walk that foot over. Drop that leg. Nora! 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 Yeah. Sounds like she almost threw up when I picked her up. There's Nora. Let Nora get some attention, Ricky. Look how weird she is, though. Be, just be normal. I guess this is you being normal. Yeah. Okay. Pedal that feet out. Walk your hands up to your feet. Feet up to your hands. Hang here for a second. And then roll it up one vertebrae at a time. All right, good job, everybody. I'm gonna shut this down a little bit quicker. Again, we're nearing our one hour that we've been on here. I keep you guys for way too long. Make sure you guys stretch today. Again, we kind of went through that last um, stretching pretty quickly. So 
goodness. Um, so make sure you guys stretch. And then I will see you guys on Friday. All right, guys. Bye.